Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode 5 of my Meng 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. In this episode, we're going to be starting off giving the inside wood of the fuselage a bit of an added grain. I'm going to be using Vallejo's wood grain, that's 70.828, and a stiff brush. Doing it a bit like dry brush, but with long strokes over the whole length. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we go, that's the inside of the fuselage and the office floor done. Now for the seat back and the seat cushion. There we go, that's the seat done. Now for the seat support at the back of the office. We've got that done. Next comes the painting of the buckles on the harness. Here we go. Buckles painted and ready for fitting, but whilst that dries, let's get the kit glued to the fuel tank, shall we? Of course we shall! This part was quite fiddly and you have to make sure that you get the correct orientation of the part and which order they go in but luckily the destructions are really good and help you with that they actually tell you which order to fit them which is great well done Meng There we go, that's the fixtures and fittings on the fuel tank. What next? Ooh, I know, a bit of that wood grain on the seat. Just pop it into the creases, make them stand out even more. Here we go with that then. There you go, that didn't take long, did it? Next, let's get the inside of the office sprayed, shall we? Here we go. There we go, that's the office walls all sprayed up and ready. Now time to paint and prep the seat support at the back of the office. Let's crack on and get that sorted. Mm -hmm. 
While I was doing this, I was a bit heavy handed with the glue and it squeezed out all over the shop. So I had to quickly clean it up and then I overpainted it. I found that Vallejo Sand 71.075 was a great match. So going forward, I'll be using that for a learning color. That's done. Now to unmask the sea. Oh no, not again. Bollocks. Ah, it is L clad. So that's notorious for coming away like this. Let's get the seat cushion fitted first. There we go, there's that done. Now, let's fix this bloody control column again. There we go, that's done. Now, Let's get the inside of the fuselage unmashed, shall we? Let's hope this has gone okay. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Haven't we done a grand job on that one? Now for a quick wash with my homebrew black brown ink wash. So let's get it cracked, shall we? One side done and looking pretty good. Way to go, us. Now for the other side. There we go, that's both sides done. Next, a bit of fanning around, dry fitting the sides together, just to see what it looks like, you know, how you do. Yep, that's looking okay. Now, let's wire up the spark plugs on the engine, shall we? I acquired this wire from an old USB charging cable we had kicking around. Haven't got a clue what size it is. Really, really fine stuff though, and perfect for the cable running from the spark plug to the ignition system. So, let's get these done, shall we? Looking good. We deliberately cut them too long, give us a bit of wiggle room, so we could later snip them off at the right position. Now we're going to spray the metal parts up. Initially I'm using Alclad's 112 steel for the main cylinders and the main section. So let's crack on.
there we go that's the metal parts done now to move on to the prop let's get it off the sprue and cleaned up and get it cracked There's the prop ready for priming. Next up we have the control column and we're going to paint the wooden handles on it. So let's crack on with those. Control column handles painted. Satis. Next to drill some holes in this section of the rudder pedals ready for the control wires. Here goes. Holes drilled. Now for the fishing wire. Next up for the same treatment is a control column. there we go that's the control wires done on the control column anywho this seems like a good a place as any to end so thank you for watching episode 5 if you want to see what happens in episode 6 please subscribe to my channel help it grow like the video leave a comment and ring my bell remember folks stay safe keep on modeling <laughs>